Iris, I love you, first of all. Love you back. Thank you, baby. When I met Carl, it was the first time I was able to pay for a holiday on my own. And uh, I went up to a lovely hotel resort, Lake George in New York. As we were checking in, a young man came over to say hello to her, and it was Carl. So we were introduced. He told my friend that he thought I would be a stunning girl if I would only go and get my nose fixed. I said to her, you go tell him what he could do. <laughs> At any rate, time passed, and I'm back in New York, and uh, I was on, happened to be on Fifth Avenue, and the bus broke down, and the people in the bus had nothing to do but look out the window. And it seemed Carl was in that bus. When I finally got back home that night, the phone was ringing off the hook, and it was Carl. And he went on to describe my complete outfit. And I said, where the devil did you see me? And he explained about the bus. He had a good chance to look me over. And he asked me out, and I, I said I would go. I had lots of fellas, and I had lots of fun, and I wasn't interested in getting married, but I said I'd be a long time. I might as well have, a, have as much fun as I can. So I went and I met Carl, and that was the beginning. Everything with us happened on holidays. Everything was very fast. First day, Columbus Day, Thanksgiving, he proposed. Christmas, I was blinged. <laughs> and some days later, we got on a choo-choo train and came down to Palm Beach for our honeymoon. I arrived with seven old suitcases and one new husband. I was 26. I don't approve of young marriages. I like people to be a little more seasoned. And Carl was 33. Seven year different. What was the length of time you were married? 68 years. You know, what advice do you give couples who struggle in a relationship? Um, well, I think, first of all, you have to like each other. Passion wears away soon. It's good to have, and it's nice to have with it. But I think in a relationship, you should first be friends. And then I think you should both have a sense of humor. That's the most powerful tool, is humor. And sometimes people who get married have some have certain things in common, and you should play those up. You shouldn't try to change one another. That will never work. You have to let things roll and just work at them naturally and be yourself. You fell in love with them because of certain reasons, so why do you want to change them now? Oh, Johnny Carson. Do you remember Johnny Carson? Of course. Well, he was a late night show for the young ones who don't remember or don't know. I never heard of him. And he was terrific. And he had on a couple because they were married 75 years. And he said to her, did you ever once in 75 years think about leaving? He, she said, leaving, no, but murder. Who do you think was the most stylish? between you and Carl? Well, I was the most stylish. But Carl was a very fast study. He had really very good innate taste. Well, he picked me. <laughs> what was the thing that made Carl the most crazy about you? I'm sorry, you're a little bit late. Seven <laughs> years too late, you could have asked him. What, what was the thing that made you crazy? What did Carl do that made you a little crazy? Oh, he was just Mr. Carl. He had the most delicious sense of humor. Things should be kept lighthearted, joyous, on the positive. Definitely. There's gray, dull things in the world, and you shouldn't do anything to intensify that. Try to be upbeat. What is the thing you miss about Carl the most? I miss my big hug in the morning. A big fat hug. I really miss it. And what's your what's so, your what was the most romantic thing he did oh i don't know my whole life was a big romance i love you so much thank you for doing this oh it's a great pleasure i I'm hope i give some small service to some young people who are struggling <laughs> because there's no need to do it just relax